So you're thinking about upgrading your webcam for your Twitch streams. Well, before you do that, have you tried your phone? A lot of you guys don't know that you can actually use a cell phone as your webcam for your Twitch streams. So you might not even have to go out and buy a new webcam. If you already have one of these lying around, why not save some money and just use this guy? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your cell phone to be your webcam for your Twitch streams or to set it up as a secondary camera for your streams as well. So if you liked the video, leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It shows me that you guys like these videos and you want me to make more of them for you. I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from noon to four central standard time. Link is in the description below. We start every stream off in just chatting. So if there are any questions that I didn't answer in this video, hop on by the stream and we can talk more about it. But anyway, let's just jump right into the video and get your cell phone set up as your webcam for your Twitch streams. All right, guys, so setting this up is really easy, but just a few things to get out of the way first. We're gonna be using an app called Epoch Cam, and there are two versions that you can download on your phone, which you're going to need to do. There's a free version and there's a paid version. If you want the best quality, I would suggest getting the paid version. It is $8, but it'll allow you to stream at 1080p, use a wireless connection if you don't have a cable to connect to your computer. It'll also allow you to use your manual focus and your light on your actual phone. Here's the full list of the differences between the paid and the free version of the app. This app also works with Android phones as well as iPhones, but today I'm going to be using an iPhone 12 Pro Max. But depending on your phone, the camera quality is going to be a little bit different because obviously as the phones get newer, the cameras get better. So the newer the phone, the better the quality. All right, guys. So on your actual PC, you're going to want to go to Elgato.com. You're going to go up to Capture and then we're going to go over to Epoch Cam. We're just going to download the app for our actual PC to use our phones as a webcam. So go over to the right hand side and click on download and we're going to select epoch cam and then make sure you have it set for either windows or mac whichever os you're using and then download the driver go ahead and install the driver to your computer so after you download the app on your phone go ahead and open it up and then click on begin at the bottom after you've downloaded the driver on your computer that we did in the last step we can just click next on our phone and you can choose your connection type. If you go wireless, you might have some latency. So I would suggest connecting your phone to your computer via USB. So we're going to click next and then you need to allow access to camera, allow access to your microphone and allow access to your network if you're doing it wirelessly and click done. And then as you can see, we're using our phone. We can even rotate the phone. You can use the front facing camera as well. So you're going to want to open OBS. OBS is already open because I'm using it to record the video right now. But what you're going to want to go ahead and do is in your sources, you're going to want to click on the plus sign and we're going to want to select video capture device. And then we're going to want to select the Epoch camera. And there we go. There's our camera right here and go ahead and click OK. And then you can right click it as well. Go down to transform. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise right there, just like that. And so since I have the phone in the upright position right now, that's why I have to have it upright like that. But if you flip your camera over, now you're using your phone as a webcam. And honestly, the better your phone, obviously, the better the camera you're going to have and then the better quality you're going to have. But again, I'm using the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but I think it goes all the way back down to the iPhone 6 for iPhones. And you can also use an Android phone to do this as well. But remember, just have your phone on a tripod and then have your charger connected to it so that it doesn't die midstream. And then, yeah, you're good to go. All right, guys. So after that, your cell phone should be working as your webcam. Now, I know it's not perfect and it's not the best thing out there, but if you're in a situation where you can't find a good webcam that you like or you don't have the money right now to upgrade, but you have a nice cell phone laying around, you might as well use it, right? A lot of the times your cell phone actually might be better than the current webcam you're using. But let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful for you and what kind of webcam do you guys use? I'm curious to know. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you live on Twitch.